How you doing, guys? It's uh, Mike Cricket 113. Uh, so, in front of you here is a uh, ICOM IC27H. Uh, it's the same as the uh, ICOM 27A model, sort of. <laughs> uh, this radio was produced, made in Japan, produced by ICOM, made in the, the uh, mid to late 80s. Uh, the uh, ICOM IC27A was a 25 watt radio. Uh, this is the 27H, and this is a 45 watt radio. Uh, you got the right over here. The uh, sorry, the high and low button. There's two ways to shake it. So either five watts is low and 45 watts is high. It's got your tones to put out for your uh, repeaters. Uh, this one's set up right now for my local uh, parks or Parksburg, Pennsylvania repeater, uh, 146 9850. Anyway, uh, yep. So basically, why I have this sitting in front of me is that I, back on October, I passed my technician ham exam. Uh, still waiting for the, uh, the call sign, the license to come through. Uh, Apparently, when they send it snail mail, it takes a while, so uh, I'm uh, trying to be patient here, but a good friend of mine in uh, Cold Snack sent me a uh, this radio here to use, and uh, I really appreciate him for sending it. It seems to be working fine. I need to get a... It, didn't, it had a short wire in the back, so I hooked up this uh, CB wire, but this is a 3-amp fuse, and... I got to get a uh, 15 amp, so I got to go to the hardware store for that one. But uh, for right now, I'm just listening. I'm not allowed to transmit. I'm going to follow the rules because that's what you're supposed to do. So it's been fun scrolling the dial and uh, listening to the Cusos and uh, whatever, you know. So, But I can't wait to get on the air. I still need to get a uh, some coax for this radio. Uh, an antenna, obviously, and I will need a new uh, SWR meter because, uh, pardon the uh, the mess here. Whoops. Because this uh, MFJ 870 is only good for 1.6 to 60 megahertz. And as you know, this is the uh, 144 to 149 megahertz two meter band this is a two meter radio only uh as you can see at the top there but neat feature on this radio the uh the person who owned it prior there's a little button here i'm going to zoom in sorry about the shaking this i'm just recording this uh via my hand it has this little speech button here let me raise the volume the squelch is on but it reads out the uh frequency Thought that was a pretty cool feature for the radio. Let me hit it again. One four six point nine eight five. Yeah. So now I know what frequency I'm on if I'm not looking at the uh, at the uh, the meter there. It's got no. It, it's a. You know, mind you, this is an older radio, but uh, it's only got nine memory channels. I'm setting them up now to the ones closest to me. But uh, just starting to figure that out now. Uh, it's got the VFO and the memory, A and B VFOs. Uh, <clears throat> I did put, this is number two memory. Uh, I did put, uh, let me see here, got the memory on. I did put, let me track this down. One. Oh, this is one station here that was, uh, I keep hearing these guys talking, and I think it's simplex. It's 147. Point zero six five. Uh, there was a gentleman on just before uh, N3JIZ, I believe, and his friend, I didn't catch his call number, but uh, one guy was on the blue route, so not too far away. But anyway, I did put in a memory channel here. Oh, there we go, number five, when I was trying to figure out how to use the, uh, put the memories in. This is 146.520. 146.520. And 
146520 is the uh, nationwide simplex uh, call out uh, band for uh, CQ. So <clears throat> we're trying to make uh, simplex more of a fun thing to do. So it's actually a Facebook page called, uh, I joined called uh, Make 146. 520 great again. I know that's uh kind of sounds like a Trump thing, but we're not talking politics here. But anyway, uh Well, anyway, I can't wait to get my license and uh play with this radio. <clears throat> I hope everybody's having a great day. And once again, this is Mike Cricket 113 and we're clear. <laughs>